For our steampunk office, we wanted a desk with storage, but also wanted the option to have a sit or stand desk. That's pretty difficult to find, but we did find some inspiration from this Pottery Barn desk and this desk from Anna White. We knew we needed a place to store our printer, file folders, and some office supplies, so I started with the modular design, the size of the room, and the total width of the desk, and worked the numbers from there. I found a sit-stand desk on YouTube that used an X-brace to lift the top, so I left additional space inside the top of the desk for that mechanism. Originally I was going to use pulleys and a linear actuator to lift it, but that became really difficult because it put too much stress on the mechanism. So I reworked the design based on feedback from Joanna that used two linear actuators to lift the entire top at once, which you'll see later. After we thought we'd finalized the design, we started marking everything out on our plywood and measuring the cuts. I only had an 18 volt circular saw and some straight edges, so that's what I used to cut everything. In order to maximize our lumber and minimize our waste, I measured everything out on our sheets of plywood and tried to make sure everything fit together so that we had very little waste. Once we got everything measured and cut, it was time to start assembling the base. So using the plans from Anna White, we essentially put two narrow frame file boxes together on either side and connected them with a solid piece of plywood in the middle. Now that allowed some weakness in the design so I put a brace across the front to make sure that it would hold steady. Here you'll see the linear actuator which I installed in the back of the file frame and you can also see the X brace which lifts the top. Those two pieces are connected together and when you lift the actuator it lifts the X brace which supports the top in the process. I began the wiring using the equipment that we ordered from Amazon that came along with the linear actuators. It was pretty simple, just follow the directions. There's a control module that hooks up to everything and you can see that black switch there that controls the up and down motion. We added a secret compartment so that trim piece actually folds down with a spring-loaded hinge as well as two electrical outlets if we need to plug anything in. From the front you see it looks like a normal desk. In the middle is a keyboard tray that actually slides out and over on the left side you see the secret compartment with the electrical outlet and the up-down mechanism. Once it's raised up, the X braces support it and there's also a brace underneath the top to make sure that it doesn't sag. Because Joanna loves green and we wanted something steampunky, she came up with a really cool finish that uses green as a base as well as a kind of antique look inspired by this picture. When you put it all together, you get this desk that looks like a traditional desk but offers the versatility of a sit-stand desk without sacrificing storage or style.